हाउस ऑफ वेलनेस पावर्ड बाय हिमालय वेलनेस कंपनी वेलकम टू हाउस ऑफ वेलनेस अ पॉडकास्ट पावर्ड बाय हिमालय वेलनेस कंपनी This podcast will give you insights on different aspects of Ayurveda and wellness based on science. Himalaya Wellness is a global herbal health and personal care organization with close to 500 products in over 100 countries, bringing wellness in every home and happiness in every heart. In each episode, we will have candid conversations with qualified and experienced Ayurvedic experts on how to take charge of your health and well-being in the modern world. Hello to all our listeners and welcome to another episode of House of Wellness. Today we are speaking to Dr. Jayashree B. Keshav. We'll be talking about women's wellness, menarche and beyond. Welcome to our podcast, Dr. Jayashree. Doctor, could you please start off by taking us through today's topic? Sure. Women are a fine blend of beauty, strength, perseverance and courage. but today's fast paced world demands them to be all the more agile and strong so that they can effectively manage work home and various other areas of their lives but while doing so they also need to bear the brunt and burden of physical physiological and psychological changes a woman's body constantly undergoes changes starting right from menarche and all through to menopause and beyond for some women this journey may be smooth and uneventful but it is tough and distressful for most of them Let's start with menarche where it all begins. Menarche is the occurrence of the first menstrual period and it is an important indicator of a woman's growth and sexual maturation. It signals the beginning of a woman's reproductive life. Generally, the first menstruation or menarche occurs between the ages of 11 and 14 years. However, in recent years, the age at menarche has been considerably declining worldwide. In fact, there are an increasing number of girls who begin to menstruate as early as 8 years of age. This condition is called early menarche. So doctor, can you tell us the possible risks involved in early menarche? Early menarche could lead to increased risk of heart disease, breast cancer, asthma, diabetes and obesity. Furthermore, it also increases the risk of psychosocial distress such as depression, eating disorders, early initiation of sexual activity and substance abuse although various factors could be responsible for early menarche dietary factors seem to play a significant role one of the culprits is fast foods as they are high in fats and sugars that are unhealthy and addictive thank you for that detailed answer doctor now moving on can you please shed some light on pms sure PMS or what is known as a premenstrual syndrome is a group of symptoms that affect a woman just before a menstrual cycle. It encompasses a spectrum of physical and psychological symptoms. The physical symptoms include fatigue, headache, joint pain, bloating, constipation or diarrhea, weight gain, breast tenderness and acne flare-ups. On the other hand, psychological symptoms include behavioral and emotional changes such as mood swings, irritability, anger, anxiety, depressive feelings, appetite changes and social withdrawal. PMS can also worsen pre-existing conditions such as asthma, migraine and allergies. Since we are on the topic of PMS, could you please elaborate a bit more on it for our listeners? Because in day-to-day interactions, we tend to use this term casually. As with early menarche, PMS is significantly seen in girls who consume excessive junk food. PMS is also more common in women who experience high levels of stress. Lifestyle factors such as smoking, consumption of alcohol, sedentary lifestyle, sleep deprivation and consumption of a diet rich in salt, sugary foods and caffeine can also increase the risk of PMS. Now as far as irregular menstrual cycles are concerned, are there any details you can share about that? The regularity of menstrual cycles is actually considered an indicator of a woman's reproductive health. Disruption in the regularity of menstrual cycles is associated with various health issues such as weight gain, abdominal bloating, constipation, migraine, moodiness and physical and mental discomfort. Thank you doctor. Uh now having discussed all these things, is it still possible for women to lead happy and qualitative lives despite going through a multitude of physical and psychological changes? Yes, of course. 
Research has proven that diet and lifestyle play a significant role in the manifestation of menstrual irregularities. Hence, consuming a healthy, balanced diet and incorporating physical activity, yoga and meditation in daily routine are important. Getting good sleep and avoiding smoking and alcohol consumption are also important factors. To relieve stress, women should be encouraged to share their concerns with close friends or vent out their feelings in a personal journal. The next question I think our listeners would like to know is what exactly is the role of Ayurveda in all of this? One can always find answers to questions about food, lifestyle, sleep and self-discipline in the contemporary life science Ayurveda. In fact, the basic tenet of Ayurveda or the science of life is wellness. Various herbs such as Ashoka, Lodhra, Kumari or Aloe Vera, Shatavari and Chandana can be of immense benefit in easing the discomfort faced by women during the upheavals of menstrual cycles. It is advisable to consult an Ayurvedic physician or gynecologist for well-researched formulations comprising these herbs. Thank you so much Dr. Jayashree for such a detailed episode on women's wellness and menarche and thank you listeners for joining in. We hope this session has helped our listeners and motivates them to take charge of their life. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Visit www.himaliawellness.in and drop your queries in the Ask Your Experts section with the hashtag House of Wellness. Details are given in the description of the podcast. See you all in the next episode of House of Wellness, a podcast powered by Himalaya Wellness Company. House of Wellness, powered by Himalaya Wellness Company.